Fiber Spider back again with some more antics in the kitchen. Today we are going to be making pizza monkey bread using cans of biscuits. Yes, nothing says comfort food quite like pizza, at least for me, you know. So we're going to be using some biscuits, some pizza toppings, and it's going to be oh so quick and oh so easy. So let's get started. Hello again. All right, so for this recipe, you're going to need two cans of biscuits. And as far as pizza toppings, I'm going to be using some pepperoni and some mozzarella cheese and some jalapeno peppers. Gotta love that. And a few seasons, spices, etc., etc. Really, whatever you like on your pizza, yeah, add away, you know, have fun. So we're gonna start by cracking these suckers open. And I don't know about you, but it always terrifies me the way they explode. So let's, let's try not to kill ourselves, hmm? All right, now, it says that there's like an easy pull tab, but you know, right, sure thing. This always makes me paranoid. I don't know about you. Okay, and what would you do? I rest my case. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 uh, what do they call it? Um, uh, Jump scare, yes. It's very much a jump scare kind of thing. All right. So get these guys out of here. There we go. And you're gonna want your biscuits to be a little bit smaller. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna cut them into quarters. So we have some nice bite-sized little bits that we can enjoy. Now, I did a little bit of research. Apparently, it's called monkey bread because of the way you eat it. Because you're just swing, you know, picking little bits off of it, uh, which I thought was kind of interesting. So if you're eating it as if a monkey would be eating it, which yeah, I, I, I like monkeys. I think they're cool. Um, also, this is a variation from traditional monkey bread. Apparently, it is usually made with butter and cinnamon and sugar, and it's more of a, a dessert kind of bread. Me, I wanted something a little bit more, you know, a little bit more dinner oriented because I have not eaten today and I am starving. And I, I don't have a case of the hangries, but I've got a case of the hungies. Yes, I am very, very hungry. Now, if you don't feel like making a really large batch, you could, of course, reduce the number of biscuits and you can make a smaller one. That's totally cool too. But I love leftovers. So I figure, why not? I'm just going to do the full batch of the two. And I've got my bunt pan over there, ready to go. And I'm also going to get out some olive oil and my seasons, my little seasonings. Oop, hello. Two second roll. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the second, the second can, and I will see you in just a moment. All righty. Alrighty, so with a little bit of preparation, I have everything all set to go. So I have my two cans of biscuits all cut up, ready, check. And I also took my pepperoni and I cut all the slices in half so that it would be more homogenous. And also I cut up some of my little jalapenos. And I also decided to preheat my oven already to 350 degrees, so we are all good to go. So now, all I need to do is add my olive oil, which is going to be about three tablespoons, I hope. 
I have enough. It's one thing I forgot to buy today. So I should have enough. Just drizzle it on top there. There we go. That's one. And two. And we're going to mix this up. Yeah, I've got enough. I've got plenty. Okay. There we go. Okay, and now for the seasonings. Ordinarily, I really, really like basil ever so much, but I prefer fresh basil, so I'm going to be using oregano. A nice, healthy dash. You know, about a teaspoon-ish, you know. And then some garlic powder. Love garlic. No vampires in this house. Heck no. Love, love, love garlic. Okay. Perhaps that's why I'm single. <laughs> anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up all homogenous uh, until it's all covered with the olive oil and the seasonings, and then we start to do the layering process in the bunt pan. All right, I'll see you in just a moment. Alrighty, so I gave my bunt pan a nice spray of cooking spray so it won't stick, and I mixed all of my little balls of dough so everything is all nice and evenly coated with the olive oil and the seasonings. Very nice. So going to do a bit of a layering kind of thing. You could just mix it all together. That's totally cool too. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of a bit of a layering. So I'm going to put in some of our dough at the base and then going to add some of our toppings and sort of like a, a little bit of a parfait, if you will. Now this bunt pan is really top. It's it's tall. It's high, so I don't know. I think I think that the two cans should be fine. I don't know. We will find out because I've never made this before. Nope. Okay. So it would it would help if I had more than two hands, you know. But we do what we can. So. Add a little bit of cheese, if you please. Add some pepperonis. I don't like to have like a big clump of pepperoni in one particular spot. I don't know about you, but. Now I want your opinions on this. What do you think about pizza toppings? What are your opinions about pizza toppings? What are your favorite pizza toppings? I want to know. Me, personally, I'll eat just about anything with a few exceptions. Olives? Oh dear God, no. I They do something to my little tummy, I just don't know. So yeah, um, olives, no. Um, Pineapple? Oy. I, I'm sure that I'm going to get some flack for this one, but I just, there's something about the idea of pineapple on pizza. No, no, no. Pineapple, to me, it's a dessert item. It's a sweet thing. So I just, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. Maybe it's not for me to understand. I don't know. Okay, add some more pepperonis. Definitely have to add some more cheese. Most definitely. So right now I'm just making sort of a random layer mess going on here and having fun doing it. Yeah, so olives, no. Pineapple, no. But, you know, I have nothing against anchovies. You know, I'm, I'm cool with anchovies. I like fish. Um, I love meatball, mushrooms, extra cheese, of course. Okay, give me one moment. Okay. 
Okay, add some more cheese, please. And like I said, I have not tried to make this before, so I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but I'm excited about the prospects. Indeed. Okay, now, add some more dough. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, it looks were deceiving because obviously this is gonna puff up a bit when it bakes. So like I said, I have my oven at 350 and we're gonna be baking this for approximately 40 minutes, okay? And we are going to cover it with some, some foil. And actually, yeah, I think this is gonna be the last layer and then I'm gonna add some more goodies on top and then we will be good to go. Quality control. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, we're just about there. All right, some more peppers. And then of course, more cheese. It is a moral imperative. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think we're just about good. Awesome. Okie dokie, folks. Time for the oven. Ah, actually, almost forgot. I have to wrap this with foil. It gets rather noisy, so bear with me. I'll be right back. Alrighty, moment of truth. We're going to pop this into the oven for about 40 minutes or so. There we go. Got my alarm set. Boom. Okay. So at about five, you know, at the end of the 40 minutes, going to probably take off the foil and let it go for like another five minutes more, see how that works out. And... I will see you when it is done. I don't know, we'll find out. All right, I'll see you in just a moment. Alrighty, moment of truth. I had it in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes, covered, then took off the foil, left it in for about five more minutes, and let's see what we got. Oh, I'm excited, all right. Ooh. Ooh. This looks lovely and hot. <laughs> there we go. Okay, actually, let me let me put my little gloves back on again because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. I don't feel like getting that toasty. So there we go. Nice and puffed up and baked and a little bit golden brown on top. It's gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna let this sit and cool just for a little bit so it you know has a chance to, you know, to set, if you will, with all the molten cheese and so forth. So I'm gonna let this sit for just a few minutes and then we are going to release it. We're going to release the Kraken from its mold. Ooh, I can't wait. All right, so I will be back in just a moment. 
Okay, so I let it cool for a little bit and with a butter knife so that I didn't scratch up my pan, what I did was I loosened up around the edges of my monkey bread and let's release it. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, fortunately, this particular bundt pan, it's actually two pieces. So after loosening it up around the edge, da -da -da -da! dinner is served. <laughs> it looks gorgeous. I'm so excited. Let's bring it over to the table and dig in, shall we? Okay, come join me. Alrighty, so we have the finished result right here. I think it looks gorgeous. And I also have a little bit of tomato sauce on the side. Warmed it up just a little bit. And I'm just digging right in. This looks incredible. Ooh, hot, very hot. Especially the further in you go. Yes, it is hot. A little dippy dippy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> It's ready, it's gooey with the cheese, it's got just the right amount of seasoning. You know, maybe just a touch more on the seasoning. Otherwise, this is awesome. Mm. I'm making a glutton out of myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm absolutely delighted at how easy this is, and it makes quite a bit. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll last me throughout the evening. I don't know, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> oh no, um, but yeah, definitely gonna have leftovers for this. And uh, you know, if you're ever having a, a get together or if you just want something nice and easy and quick to make, yeah, just a couple of cans of biscuits, some pizza toppings and you're good to go. So listen, everybody, hmm, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. I'm really enjoying making these cooking videos, these cooking and baking videos, Fiber in the Kitchen. I think it's a lot of fun. Would love to do more of them and uh, experiment with some different recipes, going back you know, between you know, more of the, the sweet and the savory. This, you know, mmm decadent. Absolutely love it. So I'm thinking about alternating back and forth between, you know, more dessert type, I, more, more dessert like items and more, you know, comfort food, entree, appetizer type items. This, I could just sit here and eat this all night long. Love it. <laughs> so listen, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see all of you in my next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.